Well, in an effort to promote positive messages and showcase ongoing momentum around St. Louis's Economic Justice Action Plan, we've partnered with the St. Louis Development Corporation, SLDC, on a new monthly segment. It is called Positively St. Louis. This month, Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins will feature affordable housing made possible by the agency's creation of housing access through the Economic Justice Action Plan and Neighborhood Stabilization Revolving Loan Fund. The St. Louis Development Corporation is on a mission to uplift, empower, and bring hope to neighborhoods and strengthen families. The nonprofit organization funds loans, business development, land redevelopment, and other major financial investments within the city of St. Louis, more specifically North St. Louis City, to rebuild, renew, refresh, and reframe all of St. Louis City. SLDC will invest more than $24 million into neighborhoods by building and rehabbing affordable housing for St. Louis families to buy. When you start building homes, when you start changing whole entire blocks, you're getting into root causes, you're creating jobs, you're changing infrastructure, you're sending a message of hope, you're not leaving broken lots and broken homes. And this is what makes this a positive message because you're getting at the root of the issue. For me, this is the neighborhood that my parents grew up in. Pastor Andre Alexander with the Tabernacle Community Development Corporation says the grants they receive will help build approximately 26 new affordable homes on Hebert Street, bringing stabilization for a neighborhood that's been neglected for years. They're gonna see a whole new block. This whole entire block will be changed. You'll have new construction, three bedroom, two and a half bath homes, approximately 1,400 square feet. You will also see additional rehab homes. We have- This is exactly what the president and CEO of SLDC, Neil Richardson, wants to hear. The Hebrew Street Project is a phenomenal set of work that's been done by a great grassroots organization, Tabernacle Community Development Corporation, led by Pastor Andre Alexander. They're doing some phenomenal work to be able to create not just affordable housing, but creating the pathway to ownership through affordable home ownership opportunities, building over 20 homes that will be made available to over 20 residents within North St. Louis City. In the neighborhood in which Tabernacle CDC is developing these homes, there hasn't been a home purchased in over 10 years in that area. And that, that doesn't only impact the current residents, but that impacts the future residents to have a desire to want to live there. And so our goal is to be able to stimulate that private investment, that private growth, by ins inserting investments through the American Rescue Plan Act dollars that provides grants to subsidize home ownership, but then also provides opportunities for those that are at $76,000 or below to purchase homes in these growing areas so they can bring back vibrancy and revitalization to a neighborhood that's desperately in need. And that's really the goal of SLDC, is to be able to create economic opportunities where they currently don't exist. Habitat for Humanity St. Louis, the Tabernacle Community Development Corporation Hebert Homes Project, are one of the first beneficiaries of the housing access and neighborhood stabilization revolving loan fund. This is about sending a message of hope to a neighborhood and to a community in an area where they've seen so much removed, as well as they've seen so many empty and false promises. This is about righting wrongs. This is about doing what's right. This is about seeing not just physical investment, but people investment. It is a dream, and I would venture to say many residents probably have felt like over the years a dream that's been deferred. And this allows us through this funding stream from SLDC to take a dream deferred and make it a reality so that it's not a dream denied. The program is targeted for families earning 80% of the area medium income or less, which is about 75,900 for a family of four. The program will offer wealth building pathways to home ownership in at-risk neighborhoods. Pastor Alexander says that this project will bring much needed housing to the community. It will also allow the organization to hire minority contractors and skilled employees with ties to the community. And this is just phase one of a 10 to 15 year development plan that looks at transformation where people live, work and play. And this is what Positively St. Louis looks like. Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News. And you can find this story and learn more at developstlouis.org backlash.
backslash rather positively STL.